what's better than a quickie? A quickie outside. So that's why I'm taking the lift down, gonna get on my bike and go outside to get some fresh air, get fit, and we're gonna do our first outside quickie today. Yippee! So anyway, today's quickie is all about the verb to be. To be or not to be? Question, who said that? Okay, so as you can see, I'm outside now on my bike, and uh, so let's get to work. Uh, thank God it's nice to be out. I was, I'm starting to go a bit stir-crazy at home. Anyway, onto the verb to be. Uh, the forms in the simple present are very simple. I am, you, we, they are, he, she, it is. So simple. Then there are the negative forms. I am not, you are not, he, she, it is not. And the short forms, I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not, or I'm not, you aren't, he isn't. Um, and then you have the question form, but I'll come on to that when I get nearer to Rödenthal. Okay, I'm now half the way to Rödenthal, done about a third of my bike ride. Uh, I'm trying to cycle at least 20 kilometers a day to keep fit. Um, yeah, so on to the question form. The question form of to be is very, very simple, unlike most verbs in English, because it's exactly the same as the German system. You simply invert, turn around the subject and the verb. So we say, am I, are you, is he, she, it, uh, hello. And um, yeah, that's it. But we also have the negative question form, which is, um, uh, aren't you, isn't he? Or for the uh, first person singular, for I, aren't I. It's an irregular form. Behind me at the top of that hill is Schloss Kallenberg. Now, did you know that Prince Albert, Victoria's husband, was born here? Exactly. Anyway, last part of this vidcast, podcast, whatever it's called, uh, is the, uh, the question tags. We often use question tags at the end of a sentence in English. Uh, as you do in German, but in German you normally say oder or oder nicht or gel, nicht wahr. In English we use question tags, especially with the verb be. So you have a positive negative system or negative po positive. So for example you say John is in the office this afternoon, isn't he? We are in a big meeting with Porsche tomorrow, aren't we? I'm not here tomorrow afternoon, am I? Uh, or we turn it around and have it negative positive. Uh, so you say, for example, um, uh, I'm I'm in the meeting tomorrow, aren't I? Or you aren't here tomorrow, are you? Or they're back next week, aren't they? I'm not sure if I got all that right, but you know what I mean. Anyway, exercise down below. Well, I got my. Uh, got back safely from my bike ride. Uh, beautiful weather today, as you can see outside. So uh, I, uh, uh, I'm bringing this video to you a little bit later than usual. I'll always try to get it done before lunchtime, so you can do it in your lunch break. Uh, but sometimes it's not possible. Anyway, I just wanted to end by saying a big, big thank you to the people uh, in my English courses at SMIA. You know what you've done. Thank you very much indeed. Really, really kind of you. Oh yes, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. Look after yourselves, people.